In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MSI Afterburner and set up HWM for the monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures in game. First thing you do is download HWM for here. Go ahead and download the latest beta portable. Save it to a location that you know where it is. And then it'll stay. Show in folder. Depending on where you downloaded it to, go to the folder where it is that you downloaded it. Extract the file. If you have a 32-bit system, open HWM for 32. If you have a 64-bit system, open 64. HWM for 64. It should be a 64-bit system. Most systems these days are 64-bit. It's not common to have a Open it, and as soon as you open it, you get this little screen here. Click on sensors only. And then go to settings. And then click auto start. Then click on these, chat, these buttons here. That's all you need. Then click run. Since uh, I clicked on start minimized, it started minimized, so Go to the taskbar and open it. Which it looks like it didn't open, so we'll click on it again. Looks like there's a bug in this version. We'll go ahead and re extract. Actually, there we go. It just took a while to start. It says there's a new version available. We'll go ahead and update it.
My bad, let's go ahead and go back to it and let's download the free download for 6.34. Save as again. <laughs> Go ahead and close out of the 633 version. You don't even have to download the 633, download the 634. Open HWI underscore six thirty four folder. Double click on HW info sixty four. Sensors only settings auto start let's go ahead and minimize sensors on startup and minimize sensors instead of closing Now click run. It might take a minute to start, just like it did earlier. Make a shortcut on your desktop of the HWNFO64 icon. Wait for it to start, it'll take a little bit. Let's move to MSI Afterburner right now. You get down 4.6.3 beta 2, but I'm just going to download the 4.6.2 final. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it again, but you can download it if you want. I would download the 4.6.2 final. Go ahead and install MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner Statistics Server.
While that installs, let's open up HWM plus 64 in the taskbar. By default, it won't look like this. It'll look like this. With one page, we have to scroll all the way down. I don't, I prefer to see everything all at once, so click on the blue arrows down here at the bottom. Click on it twice. Resize your page so you can see everything. Right now mine is resized. Resize everything as you so you can see the current minimum, maximum, and average. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show the CPU T CTL T die temperature in game on through the routine statistics series. Let's go ahead and install Revitune Statistics Server. While well, that installs, let's add the sensor for the temperature sensor of the CPU so we can monitor the CPU temperature in game. Go to the settings icon there, the little gear icon. Now let's go to OSD RTSS. Scroll down until we get to the CPU TCTL T die. Right here. Click on it. Click show value in OSD. Click show label in OSD. Make sure it's on line one of column one. We're only going to be displaying one sensor, but if you want to display multiple sensors, for each additional sensor, put on line two, three, four, five, etc. Now I click OK. We can go ahead and close HWinfo because we earlier check mark. Close will minimize to taskbar. See, it's in the taskbar still open even though we close it. That's what we want. Okay, it's complete the statistics server. Finish. Run MSI Afterburner. Okay, now we have this open. Now let's go ahead and set up our sensors so we can monitor everything in game. Move to monitoring. Monitoring tab. See, so we got GPU temperature. Check mark the boxes I check mark. Show an on screen display. Properties in OSD. GPU usage, yes. We don't really care about memory usage. Let's click on core clock. 
we want to see the GPU work well. We want to see the CPU usage shown on, on screen as well. We want to see the RAM usage. We want to see the frame rate as well. Check mark frame rate. Show an on screen display. We also want to see the CPU clock. I forgot about that one. Make sure you check mark CPU clock. Then click OK. Good to go. Let's go test it. You can simply open up Radeon settings, I believe, but let's go ahead and open up GPU-Z. Okay, now to test it, we can click on the little check mark on GPZ, but you could go in game and test it yourself. What I like to do is first, let's let's open it. Let's click on the check mark. Start render test. And as we can see, we got an error on my GPU the Vega 8 Mobile, where it says the, uh, this is the Re Ryzen 5 2500U, the AMD Ryzen 5 2500U processor with the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics mobile. We got an error. So what I'm going to do is go back to MSI after Radeon and turn off GPU utilization. As we can see, it instantly changed. We got the temperature. We've got the... Uh, CPU utilization in the CPU clock. We got the RAM usage, system memory usage, and maybe, then we got the FPS. And then we got the CPU TCTL T die, which is overheating at the moment. So let me show you how to use Rising Controller to limit the temperature of the CPU so it doesn't overheat. Ryzen controller is already installed. I'll link you to Ryzen controller as well. Let me show you how to get Ryzen controller going. I'm sure that works.
few downloads. Download version 2.2.7 via GitLab. Click on Windows Installer. Click on Rising Controller Setup. 2.2.7.exe. Click Download. It's already downloaded and installed on my system, so you need. But go ahead and download it. Here's Ryzen Controller. It's already set up to limit the processor to 84 degrees Celsius. But for some reason, it's not working. Let's go ahead and click Apply again. There we go. It says 84 degrees Celsius. That's exactly what we want. We don't want it to get any hotter than 84. Everything's golden and this is exactly what you do to set this up. Let me show you how to create a profile real quick. Create a preset. Call it. Call it 84C. Click on the presets tab, scroll down to the bottom. Click on when rising controller starts. Oh, use this profile. Select 84C. Good to go. That is all. Thank you very much. Hope I helped you. And if you want to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. Thank you very much. Goodbye.